Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Joe from MakeUseOf.com and in this review we're going to be taking a look at the P2B Pico Projector by AAXA. The P2B is a tiny Pico Projector measuring just 2.8 by 2.8 inches and weighing 8.8 .8 ounces. It has an LED light source, a built-in lithium-ion battery and HDMI input. The P2B has a large number of features for a Pico Projector the most notable of which is the mini HDMI input. It would be really cool to see a full-size HDMI port, but the fact that you get one at all is amazing, especially given the $180 price. Alongside mini HDMI, you get a DC input, AV input, USB type A input, micro SD card slot and a headphone output, but you can play back media stored on USB flash drives on micro SD cards. A basic software interface is provided to change settings or choose different media and sources. The built-in 2000 mAh battery is large enough to run the projector for about two and a half hours, so you'll be able to squeeze a whole film out of it, just about. The lens is inset from the front panel, which keeps it safe, but there's no shutter or lens cap, so you'll need to be careful storing it, otherwise you'll get a lens covered in dust. The left hand side contains a focus dial which allows precise focusing and on the top of the unit there are basic controls which loosely mimic the included remote controller. Like all projectors, the P2B uses a fan to keep things cool. This isn't unusual, most projectors use fans, but it is very noisy and if you use the projector on a hard surface the vibration and noise are amplified. Inside the box you'll find the projector, AV to composite cable, charger, mini tripod and remote. No HDMI cable is included. The mini tripod is a bit weak, but it does an okay job at supporting the projector. The P2B is able to produce a 100 inch image, providing the room is dark enough. The throw ratio is 1.2, which is excellent. The minimum focus distance is also excellent, but the sweet spot for screen size is somewhere between 65 and 75 inches. This produces the perfect balance between brightness, image size and distance. Rated at a maximum brightness of 130 lumens, this projector isn't very bright at all. This isn't unusual for a Pico projector, but it really does struggle. It's bright enough to see clearly in a dark room, or a very dark corner without direct sunlight, and with the lights off. Once you enlarge the image to 100 inches, it gets even dimmer. Images are projected using triple red, green and blue LEDs. These produce brilliant colours, less heat and have an outstanding lifespan. You can expect to achieve about 20,000 hours of use. Colours look bright and vivid and blacks look great with a contrast ratio of 1000 to 1. It can handle a 1080p signal, but the WVGA native resolution is pretty terrible. Images don't always look very sharp and if you're gaming, it's a bit hard to make out details. Finally, there's no keystone correction, which allows you to adjust the angle of the image, which is especially useful when the projector is at an angle to the screen. Not having keystoning is a terrible oversight. It's one of the biggest reasons not to buy this projector. You can work around it, but you need to consider your projector placement. If you're not parallel to your screen, your image will be angled. Pico projectors aren't for everyone, but if you need their features, they can be wonderful. The P2B does an okay job, it will never live up to larger home cinema projectors, but that's okay. It has a great battery life, really good colour, a whole host of inputs and a tiny size. Unfortunately, it's let down by the lack of keystone, the weedy tripod mount, the noisy fan, the bad speakers, the terrible brightness, the poor resolution, I could go on. Thanks for watching guys, and make sure you visit the link in the description below where you can read our full review. Make sure you like and subscribe and leave a comment if you've not done so already. Tell us what you think of the P2B Pico projector.